Next one, we're going to go over piriformis. So piriformis syndrome or um, sciatic problems too, um, sciatica, that's another term people might use. But the piriformis is what you're going to do is you're going to, um, I, I do it on this side, but just for demonstrational purposes, I'm going to bring it up here. I'm going to rotate it back and forth. I'm going to feel the ball and socket. So you're going to feel the ball and socket right there. And you just kind of go up at a little bit of angle right to the sacrum area. So that's called the piriformis muscle. So that's the main one you're going to concentrate on for any kind of things with sciatica. And sciatica is typically, they're going to, um, it's going to send shooting pain down the leg. And so it's impinging the sciatic nerve is what, what it's doing that. But what you're going to do is, remember how we brought the leg over and kind of stretched it out. So for the, for the runner's knee, for the iliotibial band, also you want to perform that kind of stretch for this position too. Another option, you can push into the sacrum and bring the foot towards you and just keep, keep kind of rocking it in those areas. You can use your knuckles if you need to, or you can just push it, if you want to relax it first, push it both in the same direction so it's not getting as much resistance, but it's a great way to kind of warm up that area beforehand. But then you can kind of push and pull back or use your elbow or form, but just make sure your wrist is relaxed when you're performing those kind of techniques then. But uh, again, with the piriformis, you can bring that leg like this, this, and this. You can kind of just go right around the greater trochanter too. So this can even be used with the clothes on. So as long as it, it slides a little bit, it works perfect then. Or you can just kind of plant your elbow and just kind of roll it a little bit. So you're rolling it one direction and the next direction and back and forth. But people, with, um, if it's ever mimicking the kind of pain that they're having um, for sciatic problems, just back off a little bit so you know what spot that's causing it. But you might want to back off and just do some regular massage to start with, and then do some stretching, and then maybe get a little bit deeper to get into those areas. And another option, too, is you're going to interlock right here. You're just going to compress that area, too. So you're going to compress the sacrum is what you're doing. This is a, um, for women that have their menses. So um, if they're, they're having a period, what you're going to do is you're going to interlock and it works great to help relieve some of the cramps that they're having. So again, you're just going to compress like there, or you can kind of push into the sacrum too. So it seems weird, but this usually helps relieve a lot with the cramps instead of working on the abdominal region because it's going to be very extra sensitive into that region. So again, for menses, just compress in that area. You can even compress and push, just like with the piriformis, um, piriformis kind of techniques to help relieve that. Then. 